Hi folks, David here with The Real Meat Stick. And today, we're gonna to be preparing this chuck roast to put onto our Camp Chef XXL Pro Smoker for dinner for tonight. So let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is get our black gloves on. I notice that uh, it's a trend now. Everybody in the barbecue business uses black gloves, all looking like their mechanics. So we're gonna do the same. Instead of using blue nitro gloves, we'll use our black gloves. To get this open, we got this meat today from Citera Family Market right here in Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania. We're supporting local business. It's a uh, tab, meaning certified Angus beef. It's black Angus, delicious. Instead of going prime today, we're gonna be going with the uh, certified Angus beef. I'm gonna take a look on here, see if we have any silver skin, any fat that we want to trim off. I got a little bit right here, I just want to get rid of. It was trimmed pretty well. See if there's anything else we want to get rid of. I don't think so. Maybe take this corner off right here. We'll save that for something else. See what else we got here. Got a little bit of fat right here I want to get off. We may even take this piece off right here because it's just hanging and I don't like that. So we'll trim that up, save that for something else. There we go. That's looking fairly nice. Maybe get rid of a little bit of the silver skin that's underneath. Nicely trimmed, I like that. A little more silver skin right here. Get it started with our knife. And we'll use, it, use our knife on an angle just like we were filleting a fish. Get that off. Nice. Now that I can use for uh, silver skin, it's gonna go in the garbage. Meat, some of that fat we'll use later on. We'll save that for a day that we're making burgers, we'll grind it up, or even if we're gonna make another beef sausage, so we have those trimmings, they never go to waste. So we'll put that to the side. Let's go ahead and grab our pan here, a wire rack. Actually, before that, let's get a little mustard on it. And today, we're gonna to be using as our binder, just a standard store brand yellow mustard, uh, as well as Boar's Night Out White Lightning, combined with the Two Gringos Chupacabra Brisket Magic. Get that on there real good. The mustard doesn't impart any flavor into our meat. It's simply there as a binder. Put that to the side. Put the wire right down. Let's get the seasonings opened up to make this a lot easier. Go. Let's get up nice and high. Of course, in the words of Chud's Barbecue, uh, Brad, don't forget the sides. Never forget the sides. Rookie mistake. The other sides right off the cutting board. That's a nice coating. I don't want to go too heavy with black pepper today. Looks like we had some technical difficulties with our camera. This is what happens when you're shooting alone and the camera shifts itself on the gimbal because you didn't lock it down correctly. Anyway, we've taken our meat and I've taken off our, my gloves. Took the meat off the cutting board, it's now on the wire rack. It's gonna sit here for roughly 20 to 30 minutes. Yes, at room temperature. And during that time, we're gonna go outside right now. We're gonna fire up that Camp Chef XXL Pro uh, vertical smoker. And then by the time that heats up and it's ready to go, we'll come back in, we'll grab our meat, throw it back on the smoker, put a probe in it. And I think today, since uh, I don't have a ton of time, I'm probably going to crank the temperature up somewhere between 275 to 300. That way we can finish this thing off within the next eight hours or so. Uh, time right now is 1122. 
So reasonably, uh, we might be cranking this thing up to 300, try to get it done in the next six hours. That way we're not eating dinner at nine o'clock this evening. So with that said, I'm gonna get outside, take you with me. We're gonna fire up that camp chef. See you in one minute. All right, and we're back. So here we are. We're gonna start up our camp chef by simply turning on the power. And we're gonna go to our startup. Set our temp thinking that we're going to go to 300 degrees. I want to get this done time. I'm going to set my smoke to a level 8, temperature to 300 degrees. It's going to take six minutes to get the temperature. Here we go. I'm also going to put in some of our wood. I put some wood on the table here just to get started with. Some smaller pieces, some larger pieces. We're just going to go right here into our Pro Smoke Box. Got some more small pieces. Because once this is going, then later on, as our cook is progressing, I can always add in larger chunks. But for now, I just want to get it started. See if we can get uh, maybe a couple more pieces in. That goes good there nicely. So the way this works with the startup is we keep our door open. You can see I've been cooking. It's uh, the drip tray down below. It has some evidence of what happens when you use it. So it starts to get dirty. Um, initially, my thought process was to put some tin foil down there. That way it would avoid some of the drippage. However, there is a hole in the back that's made for the, uh, the liquids to come off. A lot of the greases and fats to drip down through that hole and into a grease bucket that's on the back. And inside that grease bucket, let me grab that for you, has a aluminum liner. So what makes this nice is that it's disposable. We simply pull out our aluminum liner and toss it once it begins to fill up a little bit. But for now, there's not much in here. So with that said, we're gonna let this come up to temperature. Once it's at temperature, once it's the, the six minute process is completed, uh, we'll close the door, we'll allow the smoker to really build up some smoke get up to temperature and then uh, you'll join me back out here as we put our chuck roast onto our smoker we'll be right back okay we are back we're holding steady hopefully you can see this we set it for 300 degrees I just went ahead I opened up the smoke box that way with the smoke pro the wood chips that we put in rather the, uh, the wood chunks that we put in now beginning to smoke, we've got a lot more smoke coming out. And with our PID controller, we're holding at 309 right now. That'll pull back to 300 degrees, our desired temperature. But right now with that wood burning, it sort of gave us a spike in temperature. So I'm gonna go ahead, put this off to the side. I'm gonna get our meat on. The other thing I'm gonna do is Get out our probe and feed that right through the side. Pop it out the other side. Put it into our thickest piece, piece of the meat, right there. Nice. Close the door up. Plug it in. Now that we're all set, I don't need these gloves anymore. To set our temperature, probe one, B. We're gonna call this one a roast. Actually, we're not we're gonna go back. We're not gonna call it a roast. We're gonna call this one a brisket so that it cooks at a, at a higher temperature. And I'm gonna set this to 190. That way, at 190, I can open it up, uh, wrap it up in our butcher paper with our tallow and put it back on. Cause I'm gonna cook this just like we would a brisket. It confirm that's that so one last look because I opened up the door we're at 271 that'll get us back up to 300 right now we're showing that we're at 53 degrees that's the temperature of the meat a gold temperature for um, when we know that it's completed will be at 190 at that point we'll pull it we'll end up wrapping it in butcher paper along with our tallow throwing it back on and cooking it till when we're at about 202 203 degrees Nothing too specific right there until it's probe temp. So 
With that said, I'll see you in a couple hours. Uh, however, to you, it'll just be moments away. We'll be right back. So, welcome back. Our chuck roast has now hit 185 degrees. We're gonna get ready to pull it, then we're gonna put some Wagyu beef tallow on it, wrap it up in our butcher paper, and get it right back onto the smoker. First, in honor of Luis, just a trumpet master, it's time for a shot of tequila. This one's to you, Luis. Of course, what better to wash down Mexican tequila than a Paul Lander? Also to you, Mr. Trumpet Master. Of course, we gotta get our butcher paper a little moist, so. Uh, whoopsie! Put a little beer on there. That's not alcohol abuse in any way. <coughs> we got our gloves on. It's gonna be mighty hot. That brisket, excuse me, rather, that uh, chuck roast has been going for just a little over six hours now. And I decided instead of pulling it at 190 to pull it at 185 so that it has just a little bit longer to sit in that tallow. Get it off. Shrunk down somewhat. Of course, what we'll do now, we'll set the temperature, staying at 300, but um, I want to get that thing cranked up so that when it's done, it finishes at about 300 to 303 degrees. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and when we come back, the brisket will be ready. Or rather, the chuck roast. Boy, I got this whole thing mixed up. We're making a chuck roast like a brisket, not a brisket like a brisket. But when we come right back, it'll be finished. See you then. Okay, here we are, seven hours into the cook. It's finally done. Time to unwrap. Of course, I got taste tester number one and taste tester number two behind me. Taste tester two. Taste tester number two is going topless right now. It's one of the hottest days on record in the United States, and he's a little exhausted. Let's see what we got here. Oh my goodness. This is our chuck roast. It shrunk down quite a bit. Let's get some of that towel right over the top. Let's see what we got. Not much. Wow. That is tender. We get a nice piece right from the center, see what that looks like. Take a look at that. Nice and juicy. Boy, that is hot. The first piece, end piece. Mmm. That is hot. Never had a chance to give it a rest because we gotta feed the, the family tonight. Woo! Breaks apart very nicely. Mm. That is delicious. If it wasn't so hot, I'd give it to taste tester number one. I know he's starving. You know what? Maybe we will give him a little piece. Taste tester number one. Here you go. Nope. He's not having it, folks. 18 months old. 
Can't fight it. That is tasty. Taste tester number two, you want a bite? Not right now. He's busy going to soccer. Hmm. All right, folks. That's it. I'm going to go ahead and enjoy this. We got some corn on the grill as well. Dinner is served. Don't forget to like, subscribe, ring that bell, um, and whatever else has to be done. And hit the plus button. Hit the plus button. Taste tester number two knows just what it is. That way you can share it. And uh, we'll see you in the next video, folks. Real Meat Stick out.